السلام عليكم guys in this video we'll talk about signed URL in Laravel so first of all what signed URLs are if you go to google here it's a, a limited permission URLs and contains also, also authentication information in their query strings or query uh, parameters without credentials here or without entering username and password so here I have this route right and it's a PDF book and submission it and I want to sign it or uh, create a signature and anyone who has this signature can access to this uh, route so first of all I will go here and as we can see I have this route it's a PDF file or book here and it has name called uh, book and I have also this generate your URL route to generate signature or signed URL so first of all we need to uh, use to generate a, sign a signed URL here I have used this URL a facet and I will say here a URL equal to URL and here signed root and the first parameter our root name which is a book here this one right and I will say return URL and if I go here to my generate URL root and refresh as we can see it has created a signature query parameter and has this uh, encrypted or hashed string as it mentioned here contains authentication information in the query string and if now copy this URL and paste it here now it's the same result but if I try to manipulate the URL here by adding AA it still works also but we need to validate this signature here to, to validate this signature we can use here inside our web we can say if and request has valid signature right and if not has valid signature then upward 404 let's try and see it's valid and if we try to manipulate it here now it doesn't work as mentioned here in the lot of documentation the main purpose of one of the main purpose here is protecting against URL manipulation right also even if we have a valid URL here let's close this and if we try to add extra uh, query parameters like name for example Ahmed it will throw also error but if you want to include this query parameter while generating URL we can do it easily here by saying second parameter here name Ahmed and copy or refresh the page here is our new query parameter added and if we try to copy paste now it works correctly you see the difference here right but if you want here to ignore let's check again to ignore validating this name query parameter we can also use it while using with ignore method has validate signature with ignore and we can pass the query parameters to not be validated so I don't want him to validate the name query parameter here I will say name let's refresh let's check the method name here yes has very signature with ignoring here and I want to say while validating the signature ignore the name query parameter so back and refresh again it works correctly right we can also create an expiration time or we can say here as we can see third parameter expiration and I will say it must expire after for example three seconds add seconds here it will expire after three seconds now let's back and check this regenerated it's generated now here and as we can see it generates a new query parameter so it expires at this time now I think three seconds has been passed and if I copy paste it's invalid right it's quickly regenerate a new one and if we try to visit it works if I try to refresh now three seconds has been passed also invalid one must think here instead of validating using request validation and this one here 
we can use uh, a predefined middleware in Laravel called signed. So we can see here, signed. And if I try to refresh here, it's in very signature, came from this signed middleware. If we open kernel here, we have this signed here, came by default with Laravel. And as we can see, it checks here also. The same thing is here, has validation, has very signature while ignoring and so on right now let's regenerate a new one without expiration here to show you another thing so it will never be expired refresh let's visit it again here it works if i try to manipulate it it's inverse signature if i try to add name again it's inverse signature because we use middleware but inside this very signature middleware, we can add exception for query parameters as defined here to be ignored. So I will say to him, ignore name query parameter, by the way, it will be applied to all routes that uses this signed middleware. So here I told him to ignore the name query parameter. So if I go back and refresh again, it works correctly. This signed URLs, it's good for one-time password authentication or authentication or passwordless authentication and also as it's uh, explained here in lot of for unsubscribe subscribes and maybe resetting passwords and email validation or confirmation also also one other way to use a uh, temporary signed routes using this method temporary signed root so instead of defining it here there is another alternative way instead of defining expiration here we have another different way here called temporary signed root right and it takes root name and expiration right now uh, add seconds so to second and also takes a parameter like the previous method name Ahmed but this time this uh, parameter is required here now let's try to generate a new one using it works here copy paste it's invalid and if I disable the exception here for this it may work let's back and check refresh again it has here name Ahmed and it works correctly but if we try to add it again it will not work so it's type of conflict so take care also about this point here's quickly how to use signed URLs and Laravel if you found it useful support me by clicking on lecture and subscribe see you in next video